Panda. You want to take a ride in your stroller? Come on. <laughs> you excited? You excited for your walk? Hello, welcome to a new vlog. I changed a few things up in here, just a tad bit. Thursday night after I got done with my Wanda walks <laughs> with her in the stroller, I, I just got this urge to kind of change the feng shui of my makeup room. So I did a little bit. I'll insert now just like a little clip of the before just to like remind you of like how my setup has been the last almost three years. And now I'll give you just a general gist of what it looks like now. So I'm standing at my door again and like normally my desk was over here, but I moved my desk with my computer that I play Sims on and my laptop up here from Zane's office. And I changed my filming setup to be over here. Um, and I love that lamp because I can change it to any color. And I was streaming The Sims last night, so I went for kind of a pinky purple because that was the closest to pink I could do. Um, and then my background will just be kind of like like this. Obviously the lighting will be better when I have all my lights turned on and actually filming, but I really, really like it. I'll turn on one of my lights over here so we can see. Um, but I like the fact that I can really see like all my makeup, like in my vicinity. Like when I'm sitting here, I can reach all of my stuff with such ease. And then just everything's right here. And of course the wig wall. And then that's the library. Editing in Sims situation is right here. Now I have a cuter background for my Sims streams too. And then of course the uh, libraries over here looking super super cute um, but yeah I love it it feels so much bigger in here I feel like I have so much more space and it all like makes more sense I'm obsessed so yeah I just wanted to kind of pop on and show you that I didn't end up vlogging like the process because I just kind of did it <laughs> I just like had my headphones in listening to my audiobook and I was moving stuff around I was making stuff happen um, next mission is going to be making Zane's office look more just cozy and aesthetically pleasing. Cause right now it's kind of like our go-to catch-all room. And I feel like it needs a better vibe than that, but that's that's a task for another day. Um, today, I have, I have something fun happening. I'm doing my hair. My friend uh, trimmed it for me recently, but I need to color it. I need to add lots more highlights. It's been since December that I did it last and I wanna add new colors in here. And I just want it to be fun. I want it to be bright and exciting. I still want it to be blended with my root like I've been doing, but I want more. I need more impact, more color. So that's what I'm doing today. Wanted to do something fresh and new before my trip and now's the time. So I'm very excited. It's gonna be fun. So I'll show you that as I'm kind of doing it and when it's done, of course, I'm very, very excited. So we're gonna grocery shop first and go get some breakfast and then we are on to hair things. 500 foils later, <laughs> I am finally done placing everything. Um, I watched the entire Barbie movie in the duration that it took me to do this. Um, so now I'm just gonna let it process and then start throwing on some fun colors. My plan is some combination of these shades from Pulp Riot, um, just something in the blue green realm. I already had green in my hair, so just kind of sticking in that spectrum, but adding onto it and I'm very excited. All right, many hours later, <laughs> I have all my goo in my hair now. I'm just gonna drive home. I need to fold my laundry actually, because I did laundry yesterday. Um, and I'll just let this process and then rinse it out at home and then style it afterwards. But I'm very excited. Everything is looking so good so far and I can't wait to see it when it's done. So I'll report back after, after I've finished <laughs> and done all the things. Oh my goodness, look at how cute. I love it. I love all these tones, all these colors. I love the mixtures of like the blues and the teals and the bright green. I love that I put the bright green around my face. I am so happy. Oh, I love it so much. Mm, it feels so good to have just something new and refreshed. And I love having more color in it because there's color all throughout my hair now because before it was just like the halo and now it's like everywhere. And I love it so much. But I still kept my roots nice and blended. And I love, I'm so happy. I just did a little makeup look just because I wasn't planning on filming today, but we're going to dinner with Zane's parents anyways. And I was like, I kind of want to like complete this transformation. So I did that. I filmed it for like reels. It should already be up by the time this vlog goes up, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you my finished hair. I love it so much. I think it's so cute. 
Um, side note, I didn't really eat lunch today, so I'm having a little snack. And I've never had these before, the Lenny and Larry's like crunchy cookies. I've tried multiple things from Lenny's, Lenny and Larry's before, but I've never had these. And now I'm obsessed. I almost ate the entire bag. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to take Wanda on a little Wanda walk because I haven't done it yet today. And then we're going to go to dinner. And I think next time I see you will be tomorrow because we're going to Universal. Yes. <laughs> We were going to let our passes expire, and they technically have expired already, but we're still in the threshold where we get 20% off if we re redo it. And right now they're having the Mardi Gras thing, and there's like different food stands based around different countries, similar to like Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. And so much of the food looks so yummy, so that's what we're going to do. And I'll take you along. It'll be super fun. I don't know how much riding of rides we'll do. I don't know how busy it'll be. Our main goal is just food. Lots of yummy, so I'll see you then. Back at Universal. Yeah. It's so sunny, you can't see anything. Uh, first stop is Voodoo Donuts. Always. day with uh what's it called spider-man Spider it's so cheesy it's so old it's kind of dumb but it's one of my favorites <laughs> and we were going to do velocicoaster but the single rider line is closed and we always do single rider because we just simply don't want to wait an hour yeah. um so we're gonna we're here for vibes today yeah, not lines we're just gonna see what what else we have to do because the food stands for mardi gras food don't open until uh, 11. I keep calling it Mardi Gras food. It's just that they're having the Mardi Gras event and it's different country foods. I mentioned this to you already. It's basically like Epcot food and wine. Um, but that doesn't start till 11 anyway. Okay. So we're just like chilling. Like an hour and a half. So. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Wow. Proper Universal now. We're gonna eat our way around these different stands. Key Butter Waffle, Belgium. Let's let's see. Oh, those are the Biscoff cookies. Those are good. This little pork's not cutting it. Literally. Gotta make do. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. All right. Now you have a bite. Oh. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Not Mardi Gras movie. That's so cute. We're in Germany. Yep. What is this called? I forgot. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. A case spatzel. Case spatzel. Cheese spatzel. Spatzel. I don't know for sure. So it's just like a cheesy thingy. Yep. Cheese and it crispy great. onions. I think it'll be great. Oh wow. Oh wow. If we rated the last thing a 9 out of 10, saying this is a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10? Okay. It's so cheesy and creamy. I... Your turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. No notes. Mm. <laughs> We're changing the kids' area to DreamWorks, and I can't wait to see Shrek Swamp. That's so cute. Went to the Coca Cola stand, got the orange whoopie orange pie. Orange whoopie pie. I don't know how this will be, but I'm in my like orange. Betty Jean's eating a lot of so. orange stuff, so. Not bad. It's fine. Yeah. Like six out of ten. What do you think? Hmm, lighter than I expected. Not mm -hmm. bad. I like the texture. It's really fluffy. Not bad. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. A little tart. Mm -hmm. A good change from what we've eaten so far. Definitely. All right. Now we got this uh, vegan Canada. mushroom poutine. It's truffle oil. It's going to be really good, I already know. Because I love mushrooms and truffle oil. So It's really big, too. Mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Let me gather you a bite. That's pretty yep. darn good. 
I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. Is that your favorite thing, or do you think the cheese Germany thing was your favorite? That one was really good. I like both. They're a little different flavors, so. Very, yeah. Uh... Columbia. Yep, we got an arepa. I'm very excited. Yep. A corn breading with cheese. I'm destroying this. And it's. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a bite of it. Uh. Good. I just like corn bread. Corn bread. Okay. Now it's your turn. Here you go. All right. Yeah, cornbread with some <laughs> cheese. It's pretty good. Cheesy cornbread. We went to Brazil. Yep. And we got two things. We got one. chocolate balls and cheese bread, which is pretty much all we ever need in life. How's the cheese bread? It's fine. Fine. Honestly, it's not like that cheesy. It's yeah. like mostly bread with a little bit of cheese. Okay, yeah. Not bad, but I see what you mean. It's kind of chewy. I don't think I like it. Mm, yeah, it's tasting weird. that now. Let's try the bowls. That's good. It just tastes like little fudge balls. Oh yeah, just fudge. Very chocolate. Babies! He wants their meow box! Eat a lane. You want your meow box? Yeah. Come on, babies. Let's see what we got. Absol. Edelin. Are you so excited? You want to know what's inside? Wanda, are you excited? Let's see what the theme is. Thanks for joining us, Kanade. They got everyone's name, but they spelled Edelin's name wrong. They said Adolin <laughs> instead of Edelin. <laughs> Western Tales. Yeehaw, babies. You're going to be a bunch of cowboys. One fish, two fish. Salmon seaweed snacks. We'll try those later. <gasps> no, it's not a little cowboy hat. Oh yeah. my gosh, it's a meow boy hat. Absol, do you want to be a cowboy? This hat's not going to be a hat, but it could be a fun toy. Here you go, Edelin. You like the hat? What is this guy? Chewy cactus dental toy. That's fun. Edelin, are you hanging out with your cowboy hat? Oh yeah. Very cute. We think the treats go in this and then they chew it. So we'll try that later. Pom pom partner. Pom pom partner. Absol, I think you're gonna love this. Needle in. Who wants it? Toss it. Oh, Wanda loves it. <laughs> Are you not impressed, Absol? <laughs> yeah. I... You guys don't seem thrilled by this box this time. Whiskers, fun whiskers. This is crinkly. Absol's gonna love that toy. Okay, he said, bye. I'm over it. Ooh, what do you think of that whiskey? Wanda likes the cowboy hat. Yeehaw, Wanda. That's very cute. We decided we don't think treats go in this, but you guys can still have it to I chew on. In there, you want the treats? Put them over here. The... They want the treats. You want the treats that are in that? I don't think we're doing this right. Let's go see if Leela wants some treats. Leela, would you like to try these treats? But she loves them. Leela, I'm so happy that you love these treats. Um, so is this not your most favored box? Yeah, they did love this box. This doesn't seem to be, oh wait, he loves it. I just freaking can't do it. Absol, do you love that yeehaw cowboy hat? Howdy, partner. Maybe he just wanted some alone time. Oh my gosh. Hello and happy Thursday. It's Thursday. I'm losing track of all my days. <laughs> um, yesterday was just kind of an errand and getting YouTube stuff done day. And today is also a work day. I just filmed like a little reel. I am going to the salon soon, but I did get my Ulta order yesterday, so I thought I could share with you what I picked up. Honestly, lots of restocks. Couple new things, but mostly restocks. Part of what prompted it was I had a coupon for like $10 off 50 or something like that. Um, and it was only for like 
not prestige makeup, which was fine because all I needed was affordable makeup. Um, I picked up two new brow products because I knew I was going to be running out soon and I just simply can't be without my brow products. So I have the Thicket Stick It from NYX in the shade Espresso. Favorite brow gel ever because it's a fiber brow gel. It gives you kind of like a fill in and a little bit of fluffiness, but also holds everything in place. I love this. I've gone through so many of them. And I also got a new Lift and Snatch brow pen right there also in the shade espresso um it's my favorite brow pen it's like a little like marker tip and it just fills in all the gaps so nicely and these two are just my tried and true brow product and i knew i was going to be running out soon um so since i had that coupon i needed to fill my cart anyways i figured i would throw those in and then i got a lot of elf halo glow stuff first being a new halo glow powder mine's in the shade light i believe yeah light um, I actually literally just ran out of my last one last time I did my makeup. So this came at just the right time. So I was able to bust into this today. Tried and true favorite powder of all time. I love the slight radiance it gives my skin. It's not shimmery by any means, but it just gives a little bit of life. It's not like so dry mattifying looking. It is literally the best loose powder I've ever used in my life. And then I also threw in the powder puff from the Halo Glow line. I just felt like I needed a new one. My old ones are getting a little gunky and I can clean them and stuff, but this was also like a couple dollars. So I just threw it and I figured I'd try it. And so far it's nice. I used it today. It's really soft. I just love a powder puff for setting under my eyes. It's my favorite. And then I also picked up a new Halo Glow liquid filter from e.l.f. Um, my last one, I was kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel anyways, like I was kind of scraping the edges and they expanded their shade range recently. And they have two shades now that are lighter than their previous lightest one, which the lightest one worked for me, it was Fair One, but now that they had some other options, I picked up a new one. Uh, so this is Fair 0.5 and I feel like this one's even better. I feel like the tone just matches a little bit better and it's a really sheer product. It's not like a foundation or anything. It's just kind of like a radiant glowy situation with maybe the smidgiest of a tint, but it's not like crazy coverage or anything. So I was able to make the last one work, but since there's new shades now and this one like suits better, um, I'm happy. So love this product. It's one of my all time favorites. I also picked up the Halo Glow highlight wand because one of you in one of my get ready with me's, I think mentioned that you use this in like the outer corners the same way that I was using the Rare Beauty under eye brightener. And I just ran out of the Rare Beauty under eye brightener like a couple days ago. And the Sephora sale is about to happen beginning of April. And I was like, let me try this. See if I like it because as much as I love the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener, this one's even cheaper. So if I like it, I could just stick with this one. And I mean, so far I like it. I feel like it blended under the eye really nicely. Again, just kind of in that outer corner and I highlighted a little on the nose as I was blending my concealer out. Um, and I really like it. I haven't tried this yet as like a face highlighter. I'm using this so far more as just a brightener. And I am liking it so far in conjunction with my concealer. So I've only used it once so far. I'm going to keep using it over the next few days, see how I feel. If I feel like I'm really still missing the Rare Beauty one, then I'll pick up a new one at the sale. But until then, I will keep testing this guy out and hopefully that will be my new favorite. Um, but that was my Ulta order. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. <laughs> Just some restocks of things that I was running out of and utilizing a coupon that appeared in my email. So that was great. Um, I also wanted to update because I know I showed Wanda on her little Wanda walks at the beginning of this vlog and we've been taking her on a walk every day. Um, but the other day you might have seen on TikTok and Instagram, I posted a little video over there about us getting a new stroller for her. We upgraded, we got a bigger stroller. It is more comfortable for us to push because it's a little higher and it can open completely. So when we put her harness on her, we can just like clip her in and she can like get an open air kind of experience as she's going on a walk, it has a cup holder, it has storage underneath. Um, we are loving it. So I'll show you that. We'll probably go on another walk later this evening because we've been doing it every day just to get her super, super used to it. But she loves it. I think she loves the new open air kind of view. It's so much bigger. It is so nice. So I'll show you that again when we go on a walk later and I'll link the new stroller down below in case you were curious, but it's been so fun. The other day, actually with the old stroller, it was before we got the new one, but the other day we took her to PetSmart and walked her through PetSmart in her little stroller. We let her look at like the birds and the guinea pigs. And then we tried a couple harnesses on her and it was just so cute. She had so much fun. Um, so we actually attempted a leash walk with her. I didn't vlog it or anything just cause I kind of wanted to, you know, just enjoy things for myself. 
um, just me, Zane, and her, and she loved it. She was frolicking around. She was going crazy. She had the zoomie. She was the happiest cat in the whole world. And I need to pull up this Google search because it had me and Zane cackling. So I noticed at one point when she was like hopping around and like just jumping for joy, her tail was big and fluffed up, kind of the way a cat's tail does if they're kind of like on edge or scared or something. And I would Google, I was like, why would a cat's tail fluff up if, she, if she's happy? And this Google search says, when combined with exuberant springs, it means your cat is having so much fun they can't contain themselves. And that is quite literally what was happening to her. It was so funny. I don't know if I'll do another leash walk in this vlog specifically, just because it's been rainy lately. So I don't want her like walking around in the grass and the wet sidewalk and stuff like that. We're just gonna stick with the stroller for now. Um, but I will show you at some point in the future. It is just the cutest thing. She is the happiest cat. I just love that she loves it. Cause the other cats, I think I mentioned, they tolerate the stroller. It's not their favorite thing. I feel like Absol could potentially get more used to it. I might try him again here and there. Um, but it's not like their most favorite thing. It's just kind of whatever for them. But then Wanda genuinely loves it. Like she hops in the stroller. She's ready to go. She's looking around. She is just so happy and it brings me so much joy because this is just such a fun little avenue to like share with her so it's been so fun so I just wanted to share that little update and we'll go on a little wanda walk later but for now I thought we could go in my little library and pick out my TBR for April my my to be read my books I want to get to in the month of April so let's go do that welcome to my library this is kind of what we're working with I think you can almost see all of them um but yeah I have an assortment of books. I did recently do some book shopping at Barnes & Noble because we finally got one in our city again and I traded myself to a couple things but I still wanted to kind of curate a little selection of books I would like to get to in the month of April. I have 20 books still on my physical TBR shelf and I'm sure I will acquire some new books in April. I am going on that Creators and Friends trip with my YouTube friends in April in New Orleans and one of the things I'd really like to do when we have free time is go to some local bookstores and shop because I just love seeing local bookstores when I travel and picking up a book as like a souvenir. Um, so I will acquire some more but I'm still for the most part trying to to condense my shelf down. I would like to get through all my books. I don't, again, I, I've repeated this so many times, but I just don't want to be that person that has like hundreds of books that I've never read before. Like I want to have read the things that I own. So we're going to pick out a little selection. My goal for the year is 120 books. I am so far way ahead of schedule because that would be on average 10 books a month. I've been averaging minimum of 12 a month. I think this month has been like 16 books, if I'm not mistaken. I'm including the occasional audiobook. I've been reading some ebooks on my Kindle through the Libby app, and of course, mostly my physical books. So I'm still only gonna curate 10, I think, for the month of April, just to be on the safe side, like the bare minimum of 10 books. And then if I surpass that, then that's great. So two books that I know for sure I'm gonna be getting to in the month of April are the last two books of the Magnolia Park series that are currently available. I heard that there's gonna be two more Daisy Hates books in the future, but I still need to read the second Daisy Hates book and then the third Magnolia Parks book. I'm on the second Magnolia Parks book, which is the third in the series right now. So once they're available on Libby, I'll be getting to the other two in April. So I figured with that being said, we'll pick out eight physical books. Five of these are ones that I had just picked out recently in Barnes & Noble, but I don't think I want to necessarily get to all of those because I don't want to avoid the books that I've been currently like trying to get through, but I do want to incorporate some of them. Like I definitely want to finally finish the trilogy of The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This is As Good as Dead. I finally got to the second book last month and I loved it so much, which prompted me to pick that out when I was at Barnes and Noble, um, was the third one. So I want to get to this one for sure. I'm loving this series. Like so far, both books in the series were five star reads. So I'm really curious to see how I'll feel about this one. Oh, I definitely want to get to Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I've been so looking forward to this. This was such a anticipated release for this year. This is kind of her take on like a werewolf vampire situation. She usually does like women in STEM romances. Um, and I'm excited to see how I feel about this one. So I definitely want to read this. As much as I'm itching to get to Happy Place by Emily Henry now that it's finally in paperback and I finally picked it up, I just think I want to save this one. I want to save this for more of like a springtime kind of read. I'm not going to wait all the way till summer, even though this is getting summer at the bottom. But if you saw my recent Get Ready With Me, where I talked about romanticizing spring and summer, where I don't want to be miserable this spring and summer. I loathe the hot weather. I'm not 
just I'm not a good Floridian. I was not built for this weather, but I want to find joy in things. I want to try to do more water activities that I usually shy away from. I want to do just more things that feel spring and summer. And I feel like maybe planning this on like a pool day, or maybe if we went to the springs or something and I just read this while we were there, that would feel like a vibe and that would give me some springtime serotonin. So once the weather is like water activity appropriate because we've been having some chilly mornings still so the water's probably not great yet um i think i want to save this for then so not in april i don't think probably in like may oh i do want to read glass sword this is the second book in the red queen series um i bought the first red queen book last summer and i read it last month and i really enjoyed it and then my friend trisha gave me her second book so <laughs> very excited to continue on with this series i I have high hopes, so far so good. Well, I do wanna chat about this one. This was technically on my TBR for March. This is the only book that I put on my TBR that I technically didn't finish. I'd started reading it, it's A Marvelous Light. I'd started reading it, it's supposed to be just like a really cool, like magical LGBT story. Uh, I just wasn't invested in it. I was like maybe 80 pages in and I had this realization, I was like, I have no idea what's happening. I felt like I was just reading the words on the paper but not consuming them. So I'm taking a pause on this one. One of you had mentioned to me that you are listening to the audiobook and that's going much better for you. So I actually have the audiobook reserved on Libby. Um, so I'm gonna see how I feel about the audiobook. And I'm really picky about audiobooks. So if I'm not vibing with it, I'm not calling this one quits forever because I hear it's a really good story. I'm just putting this one on pause for a while. I just uh, felt the need to mention that. I kind of want to get to Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. This is the second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. I read the first one, oh gosh, sometime last year, probably like last fall, maybe late last summer. It's kind of like Disney World. It takes place like theme park, Florida. It's these three sons that are trying to inherit their share of the company basically because the basically Walt Disney of the company their grandfather passed away um so the first book was one of the brothers in the love interest and this will be one of the other brothers uh Declan and Iris so I'm excited to read this story I like the first one I thought it was cute so I will add that one to the pile I kind of want to do this one this is another two sets of books actually that my friend Trisha gave me um this is Gilded by Marissa Meyer and I guess Curse is the second one yeah this is a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin so I don't know I'm kind of curious about this these have been sitting on my shelf since like I want to say October so I think it's time to dive into this series it's a little bit of a chunkier book but I'm here for it, so I'm gonna add that to my pile. Let's see, I need three more. Maybe Unravel Me. This is one of the other ones I picked up last month by uh, Tahira Mafi. This is the second book in the Shatter Me series. I read the first one, again, sometime last year, probably over the summer. Um, and I, I just hadn't continued on with the series yet, but I finally bought the second one, so I think I'd like to continue on with this. Um, very curious to see where this continues to go. It's kind of like a weird dystopian YA, there's superpowers involved. It seems interesting, so I wanna see where the story continues to go. Oh, what to do, what to do? So many of you have told me to read The Bone Witch, and I've had this on my shelf since probably last spring or early summer. My friend uh, Sam gave it to me. So I need to, I think I need to dive into it. So The Bone Witch, right there. Um, yeah, very curious how this one's gonna go. I hear so many good things, so. I think I'll give the Bone Witch a try. And I want just one more option. Maybe I could throw another romance in the mix. I also have the two Magnolia Parks books that I'll read, but I almost don't consider those romances because their relationships are so toxic. It's more just like a fascinating character arc <laughs> sort of read for me. Um, so maybe Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey, but I also don't know if I'm feeling this one right now. No, I'm going with my gut. I'm not feeling this one right now. I feel like this is harder and harder the more I narrow down my like bookshelf because I have so few options now and like I want to read them all but I don't know which one I want to prioritize. Maybe this one. This one's been sitting on my shelf for a hot minute. Ooh, the sun is blazing all of a sudden. The Once in Future Witches by Alex E. Haro. This cover is so pretty. I love the fluffy edges. I think it's so cool. Um, so yeah, maybe like a witchy read. This could be fun. I'm here for a witchy read. I want some spooky vibes. So yeah, this is, this is looking like my shelf. I am going to now condense all of this 
scoop my little used Fantasy Cosmetica candle aside. I actually want to get more of those book candles from the brand because it was really nice and I like the aesthetic of it. Wow, that's all I have left on my physical TBR. That's crazy after I read the ones on this pile, obviously. But wow, I, I've cut this in half. And like I said, I'm definitely most likely going to get some books when I'm in New Orleans. Um, but for the most part, that might be my last book shopping venture until May. Because I know I'm obviously going on that trip in April. We are actually going back to Colorado to visit our friends in May. We don't have any trips in June, I don't think. And then we go to New York for my birthday in July. So I know I want to do book shopping on those three trips. So I might try to limit my book shopping to just those three trips for the most part, unless like a new release comes out that I'm really hyped about um, and want to go pick up. That might be the exception. But for the most part, I might just stick with this plus whatever I acquire on trips. And I try to only get like one book per bookstore as a souvenir, but... Sometimes I go a little crazy because I'm excited, but I, I, I'm excited about this. I'm excited to dive into these books. I think April's going to be a good month. March was a really good month. I feel like I read a lot of really good books. I read just a lot of books in general, and I'm excited to see where it goes. So I'm going to finish organizing this, edit the stuff that I filmed today, and I'll probably see you later for the Wanda Walks. You want to go in your stroller? Come on. You want to go on a walk? Good girl. You're doing so good waiting for dad to get your harness. Let's We're clip around. you in. You look gorgeous. I know, what do you think? <laughs> do you love it? Do you love your stroller? No, oh, it's so windy out today. I like it cold. It feels so chilly. I should have grabbed a hoodie. Wanda's happy though. Wanda, are you the happiest little baby? She's just been enamored. <laughs> we went to a new part of the neighborhood and she seems so stoked to see new stuff. Wanda, do you want to meet some cows? Hi cuties. Little farm puppies. They're so cute. Wanda, what do you think of those big farm puppies? Those are crazy. That was so fun. We went on such a good walk. I think we walked for probably like at least a mile. It was definitely Wanda's longest walk yet, and she loved it. She did so good. I just, I love this journey for her. It warms my heart, but I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I want to just finish editing and uploading it because it's going up in a couple days, and then the next vlog is going to be a very fun vlog featuring a bunch of my YouTube friends, so just stay tuned for that. I'm very excited, but if you made it to the end of this video, you know, leave some cat emojis, maybe some strollers if they exist, because I feel like that is the most appropriate. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. And also you can subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. You can also join my channel memberships. Link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.